Okay. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, so another tutorial series. So I was kind of busy uh, previous year uh, due to uh, you know uh, several academic stuff. So uh, I'm kind of free right now. So I thought it's better if I start uh, you know YouTube tutorial sessions again. Uh, so I would like to uh, discuss how to build a PHP framework, your own PHP framework from scratch. Uh, because uh, we know that uh, when it comes to uh, web development, uh, developers use the frameworks. So if your framework is uh, PHP based, then uh, you may have heard uh, the code the igniter. Um, and maybe Laravel, things like that. So these are frameworks built by some uh, group or some other person or something like that. So what I'm going to cover you today is not to use this uh, already built framework, but how to build your own framework, right? So this is a very uh, interesting thing. And uh, after you build this framework, you can continuously improve it. Uh, and maybe you you can even release uh, a new sort of a framework uh, which will be uh, publicly available okay then uh, it will be um, some sort of amazing right because you are you you have been built uh, a framework by your own okay so anyway the thing is uh, after you uh, build a framework it is very easy to develop as well because uh, just writing code here and there you know php files are here html files are here uh, is not quite organized and and the maintainability is uh, not quite well but after you building a some sort of framework uh, there, not only you the developers of your team can also feel more easy when it comes to development and more organized properly modularized and the structure is uh, pretty much solid uh, so there are benefits like that so anyway any framework has an architecture some sort of architecture so in this case uh, we are going to use the MVC architecture or some people say it's MVC workflow okay uh, MVC architecture so MVC stands for model view controller okay uh, so in the uh, mvc architecture we have this model view and controller uh, so i will just quickly explain what is this uh, model and view and controller means so uh, i will just draw a simple diagram uh, maybe let's say this is our view so view means basically uh, what you see as a view which means the html files or things like that uh, we can say that this is the user interface okay this is what users see as a view and the controller is basically uh, some sort of a moderator in between view and control a view uh, view and model like some sort of a uh, middle guy right uh, so controller basically receives uh, get or post message just from views or basically it will receive data from the view or maybe it can pass the data to the view okay and the controller can ask data or can request data uh, from the model and model can respond or model can return the data to the controller okay so now where do we store this data simply the database this is the database okay I will name it as db 
so model can uh, execute queries uh, to ask data from the database and the database will re return the data to the back to the model okay so basically model is the one who execute sql queries okay here we are going to use mysql so uh, model will execute the corresponding uh, sql queries to pass or get data to the controller then, con then controller will pass those data to the view so users can see those okay so that's the basic architecture of mvc and uh, i think as an introduction uh, this thing will be enough so in conclusion uh, i will just show you where our framework is built upon basically it will cover this entire region okay so our framework will cover each and every aspects of this mvc workflow uh, and we are going to use the php as the script language the side language and uh, html and css tags will be there of course but i'm not going to explicitly define html files because uh, within the php files we can render the html files so it is not necessary to explicitly define html files uh, so anyway html as a language we, that uh, we, we will be used and um, later on maybe we can use the javascripts and if you want you can use uh, any sort of a javascript library maybe jquery and again uh, if you like uh, you can use your own css library or maybe uh, a popular css library like uh, the bootstrap or something like that and uh, yeah these are the basic stuff that we are going to cover and i'm not going to uh, completely uh, start from the very beginning so i hope you have some sort of a knowledge about php and we are going to use the php as the object oriented paradigm so object oriented programming uh, you must be know uh, if you are f follow this uh, tutorial series uh, but anyway it is not a very difficult thing even if you don't know uh, you can get used to it okay so our framework will comprise us all the corresponding uh, you know uh, controllers models we use and uh, libraries maybe and helper functions uh, things like that okay so that's the basic introduction so in the next tutorial onwards let's start uh, building this framework so thank you uh, see you soon